Uh. I am still talking quietly because I am still living in my friend's basement and sound carries. So I'm trying to be a bit more quieter than normal um, just so I don't disturb anyone even though I am out of time today actually. Alright, let's go and uh, continue the story. Change of plans. Me again where we are going. I found a letter from the Prince Consort among Lucy Thorne's research, marked with the same insignia as your key, dated 1847. 1847. The same year the Prince began renovations to Buckingham Palace. You think he added a vault for the Shroud? And since there is no map of the palace with the room marked Secret Vault. Your Highness, may I present Miss Edie Fry. Miss Fry, Maharaja Dulip Singh. A pleasure, Your Highness. My friend, the plans you asked for have been removed. Removed? By whom? Crawford Starrick, or someone employed by him. Yes, I thought you might recognize the name. I know where they are, but it is heavily guarded. That part will not be a problem. I thought not. We're going to need a plan. Impressed? I can provide a distraction for the guards while you find a safe way inside. Oh, really? <laughs> for you, Evie? Certainly. Well, once I'm inside, I'll find you back on the train. Okay. Be careful. Dialogue jumped for a second there. She definitely loves him. He definitely loves her. Just tell each other. Man, how hard is it to tell each other? What's the plan? When you keep the signal, I'll draw the guards into a fight and then use a smoke bomb to get away. And I'll take advantage of the confusion. Ready? Absolutely. Okie dokie. So I need to get down there and I need to open that. Causing distraction, taking advantage. Uh, open that. There we go. Taking small advantage of all of these things. Tosh. There we are. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I gotta kill you. Oops, I've accidentally been spotted. Last thing I wanted today. Siren but deadly. Always deadly. Geronimo! Oh dear. Fire. Spray that fire. There we go. Now I've got myself some nice little distraction because they're all fighting each other. They're gonna draw out that other person? Oh my goodness, there's so many fighting each other. Ah oh, yes, they did draw out that other person. Thank goodness. Oh wow, they're using guns against each other. Well, uh, that was super effective. They're, oh my goodness, they're all uh, going out. Ah, oh, that leaves one left. Yep, yeah, I knew that one was going to die first. Alright, one very weak person left. Don't believe that should be a problem. Fine. Now to my way down. Like so. Ooh, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Aha. Gotcha. Ah, I've been spotted from the rear. Stabby, stabby. Out the window. Guarding the door. Stab you. No, no, we're not doing that. Right. 
not in the slightest. Okay, I'm hoping this box is the correct. Are you in here? No. Oh, always the last one you check. Nothing here. Looks like I have to ask someone where the plan. I swear, miss. Oh, I don't know where they've taken him. Taken who? The man. Dressed like you. The guards dragged him off. Henry, the plans you stole, where are they? I don't know anything about that. The plans. The mission. Oh, dear. I think Henry might have the plans and they've taken him. Alright, let's go search for him. So, signs of a struggle. I do believe. Search. Where is Henry? Hmm. Oh, I hear a little tiny child calling towards me. Well, the footprints lead over to the child calling on me. Hello, young one. You're some of Clara's children. They took Mr. Henry. We couldn't stop them. I bit one of them good, though. They dragged him off in a red carriage. They won't get far, though. One wheel looked like it was about ready to fall off. You can see the cart tracks. It looks so wobbly-like. Oh, thank you for that, dear children. Well, we've got some broken trees. What's this? Ah, the beginning of cart tracks. Yep, they go through, break these bushes. Yeah, you mind getting out of the way? Very wobbly cart tracks. They were in a bit of a rush. They've knocked over a fair few things. It's so difficult to see because it's not. Alright, keep going. Right, so they kind of crisscross. I don't. Why? Why are they crisscrossing? What on earth made it so they'd crisscross? So I'm guessing there were two of them? Or is it just the same? That cart's been run off the road. They must be driving quickly. Ah. So there must have been two of them. And this one's been run off. Well, that's interesting. Okay, back to one cart track to follow. Yeah. Oh dear. Keep on wandering my way. We got some more broken stuff over here. I'm just gonna cut across. Save me going in a circle. Up this road. My goodness, where on earth have they gone? This is a very long, long track. There's police over there looking. They're at... knocking people over too. Ah. So they're driving in a rush, so they're also uh, running over innocent bystanders. And the police are looking after them. I'm not going to kidnap the police officer, I'm just trying to find Henry. Henry would have had the, the plans, I'd say. And destruction of public property. I must be on the right track. Uh, you probably are on the right track, I'd, I'd say. I've got to be getting close. I, 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 I feel like I've been following these tracks for quite a fair while. At some point I'd have to reach the end. There's no way that I would. That must be the carriage. Found you. Now to find Henry. Ah uh, so a carriage that's awfully parked. Oh we've got an enemy. Nah I'm good. I'd rather just kill you outright. Alright, let's sneak around. Obviously this place is heavily guarded. Let's talk to you, young miss. I don't know anything about the carriage, but there's been some strange happenings around here today. All kinds of unsavory types wandering around. Armed to the teeth. I don't like it one bit. I'll never trouble you again, I swear it. 
Hmm. Well, that's rather interesting. Some rather unsavory types, you say. Alright, we've got somebody. We've got a whole load of enemies just guarding around the shops. It seems, um. Oh, there's one over there, too. Um. Fine. No, 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 you don't. No. I will not allow for you to give away my position. No, 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 Go and talk to you. Yeah, I saw them dragging someone out of the carriage after the wheel fell off. They said he'd hit his head. Not sure why they needed to take him to the church, but that's where they went. Hmm. Is she quite all right? My God. So it was something at the church then, I guess. Maybe like the holding place, especially if there are so many guards. It's a place where they accompany. Which way? Which way I go? No one knows. How to get rid of these guards? Let's see. I'll sneak you. Sneak you. Sneak you. And, uh, go to you. And then you should, uh, hopefully have something there. What do you know? I done it. I gone in time. Alright, talk to me. Uh, she can't talk to me until I've gotten rid of these two dudes. Of course, I just. Shh. All right, talk to me. Someone out of that carriage. Did drunk he was? They carried him into the churchyard. Maybe he wanted a quiet place to sleep it off. I don't think he was dead drunk. I think uh, he was a hostage. But thank you nonetheless for letting me know. It's rather helpful. Alright, we've got some more guys over here. If I climb up. Mm, ah, yes. Always the snipers that are the problem. Now. There's another one up here. I'm coming for you. Aha! Oh my word, that was violent. That was absolutely violent. It was all heck. Oh well. Let's see. Yes. Gotcha. If I time this correctly, maybe. Just maybe. Oh yeah. That happened rather quickly. I'm honestly surprised. Alright, talk to me then. Actually, you know what? If I get you. Oh yeah. You're gonna come over, see what's taking your buddy some Wow. Or you just you're gonna walk away? You mean Ooh. I almost got spotted. Almost. That could have been rather problematic if I did. Um, Alright, talk to me, man. I could have sworn I'd locked this gate. This is supposed to be locked. Bloody urchins opened it again, no doubt. Okay. Don't think it was urchins who opened it up. 
I uh, think who you're looking for uh, for the culprit is Templars. Sleep for you. In every way. And sleep for you. Well, I fudged up completely. Rather badly. Alright, if I do it like this, then I can get them in the confusion. Alright. Let's save Henry. Henry, man. What have they done to you? Look at you. Looking so sad on that chair. That's free. Um, they sent someone to move the architectural plans. Do you have them? Did they hurt you? I'm fine. Let's go. Yeah, see, he said I'm fine, but he said it in a way where he was rather disappointed in himself. Just concentrate on escaping, please. Alright, well, uh, escape the silver's time. Oh, great. We've got a bunch of damage. Hey! Managed to get one, you know, I kind of... I kind of stunned you. I could have, I'm sure, attacked you in some way or something or another. Help Henry! Oh no! Save the poor man! He cannot fend for himself! Ooh! That was rather nasty. Oh. oh dear, we got a screeching lady. Wow! Sounding like R2D2. Oh, nice dual kill. Aha. I helped you, Henry. Are you okay? Ah. You're not moving because of a person up there. Um, I get you through the glass. Oh, nicely thrown, Henry. You're Henry, come on, man. You gotta wait for me. It's like let the one that you love do all the fighting. Probably for the best. Run! We run! Okay, we've left. Now what happens? Get me sighted and go to the vault. I must find the vault before Starek secures the shroud. We'll talk to the Maharaja again. I will talk to the Maharaja. You will get your head looked at. I'm sorry my capture hasn't done your plans. You'd be safer on the train. Even if you find the vault, you can't just walk into Buckingham Palace alone. I won't be alone. I'll see you back at the train, Mr. Green. Complete. All right, time to do a next. Playing politics? Sure. Why not? What we got? All right, B. Who are you, and what's your game? I don't know, but I guess I'm gonna find out. <laughs> the way I said I don't know sounded like the guy from Oblivion, like the <laughs> random guy who just walks around to everyone going, I don't know you, and I don't care to know you. I don't know you, and I don't care to know you. <laughs> guy, why? Just stop. I'm sorry, God. I, I, I know this is not something you'd be doing. Um, you've just uh, unfortunately befallen my blade. 
No, you will not. I'm sorry, lady, that you had to see that murder. Well, if it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? The Corrupt Practices Bill is a vital step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to oh, dictate dear. the results... <laughs> Police are coming. We can scarcely call I'm gonna be careful. Free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free, sir. This is so like you, Gladstone. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of progress than oh, surrender dear, one iota of power. Why? God, this lady, you are a fool. I'll not stand idly by and watch you drag parliamentary oh, privilege oh, through the back. Oh, you oh, you oh, oh, certainly oh, not. Anything you want. Rather you return us to the yoke of tyranny. Perhaps while we're at it, Mr. Gladstone. Oh, I've got to do this quickly. Sorry, Mr. Police Officer, but I, uh, you left me with no choice. Perhaps while we're at it, Mr. Gladstone, we've got a police officer walking around in a circle. Really? How dare you, sir? Merely because I do not wish to see government placed in the hands of judges, you would make these slanderous accusations? I'll not stand for it. Then I shall obviate the requirement. Good evening, sir. Okay. Benjamin Disraeli. B, I presume. Here, the bee had a follower, and you are that. Bee, bee, my name's Herbert. And why are you following the prime minister? It's just a job, sir. Some old bloke paid me. Sniper. All right, let's stop here. Oh. Oh my goodness, you're way too close to the camera. Bloody hell! Where did you come from? Well, I was born in Crawley, but that's by the by. Who are you working for? Oh, uh, I never got his name. Uh, old chap, big moustache, wore some kind of uniform. Who's ours, maybe? What's his game? Please, you'll kill me. And a three-story drop will shatter your legs and send you to the workhouse. Difference is you can run from him. Tomorrow! Oh, my lads are going to attack the Prime Minister's carriage on the way to Parliament. Perfect. Okay. At least I didn't kill any single woman. Get a few collectibles on my way. Why not? Nice. Oh, it's raining. Love the rain. Don't know why, just really like it. The bodyguard. Alright. So much for the house call. I have to find a way into that carriage. I'm sure you'll find a way. You're rather good at uh, that. Why up? I want to go across. Oh dear. No, I'm done being attacked by police. You're really gonna come after me? I'm just gonna fight you all. Ooh, try to shoot at me and I send a knife in your stomach. I know you guys are just trying to do your job, you just see an attacker and you're like, ah, I must defend these two people. But 
I need to get the carriage. I'm sorry. I know you need to do your job. I have nothing against you. Even though sometimes I feel quite betrayed by the police and the houses I do. Nothing against you, you're just trying to do your job. It's the law that uh, needs to be fixed. Alright, let me in. What's the meaning of this? Who the devil are you? Prime Minister, I'm your new bodyguard, Jacob Fry. I wasn't informed of any new bodyguard. Who's your commanding officer? Let the boy speak, Dizzy. <laughs> Madam, apologies. But we've learned of a threat on your life. And the Met thought it best to move quickly. Threat? What sort of threat? <gasps> That sort. If you excuse me a moment. Well, at least there was uh, some uh, remaining police that I didn't absolutely brutally murder left to uh, somewhat defend. Alright, let's get used. Alright. Ooh, what a fall. They've all gone to their graves. Alright, use. I've got you now. Ooh. Trying to hurt me. Alright, well, at least the carriage is somewhat intact. Hoping they're alright in there. Bullets can carry through. See here. What's all this? Not so fast, Your Excellency. Oh dear. Yeah, I feel like Jacob is just about as pissed off as I am. Is this kind of so done with everything? He's like, yeah, of course. Says here, send out the little guy. He's uh, get him in the summons. All right. Oh, why don't you stop doing that, hey? Oh dear. Travel quickly. Get out of the vicinity. Gladstone, young man. I assure you, madam, Gladstone is innocent in this. But he tried to kill my husband. Well, we'll look into Gladstone. Perhaps you can help me with another inquiry, madam. A gentleman with ties to Parliament, older, wears cavalry uniforms and has a large moustache. You seem like a rough and ready sort of fellow, Mr. Fry. <laughs> well, yes, I am, actually. And are you familiar with the poorer districts of our city? Roughly. Wonderful. As it happens, I've been eager to tour the Devil's Acre. If you were to escort me, I'd be happy to assist you in your inquiry. That strikes me as a dangerous idea. Then it's settled. Come back here to Downing Street tomorrow <laughs> she just night. Doesn't care. <laughs> Good day, Mr. Fry. But I. Good day, Mr. Fry. <laughs> yep, she just doesn't care. To that. I'm, I'm getting my way. Oh well, well I think that just about ends our episode here. I'm gonna leave it here at <laughs> this moment. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, well, leave it to like and subscribe to Bella Hatchling, and I will see you in a wingspan. Hopefully, I can continue making these videos as well. Bye bye. <coughs>